All right, what's going on, everybody? So happy new year. It's January 1st. And I just want to encourage a lot of people because as people are reflecting on this past year, 2022, and what's to come, a lot of people are looking at their life. They're looking at what's going on around us. And many have mixed feelings and mixed thoughts, emotions of what hope they have of the future, as well as reflecting on what uh, is going on in your life, but also with everything else around us. And I just want to remind you of this. A lot of you, myself included, we've had an assignment. Many of us have had to wait on things, promises, prophetic words, a lot of things with regards to justice, with regards to restoration, with regards to certain things being turned around, many other things. We're waiting on all of that. And many of us have seen the victories. We've seen certain things uh, throughout the year. You've seen progress in the Supreme Court. You've seen progress within the Great Awakening Front. You've seen progress on the truth movement, many other things. And so from that perspective, many more people are waking up, and more specifically, not only to the truth that's going on around us, but also spiritual awakening to strengthen their relationship with him, to awaken themselves to who he is and him getting all the glory and many other things. So a lot of people are turning around their misfortune. Many people are becoming more serious about their walk, their faith, and to take action in this world and for the kingdom work that is in front of us. And so from that regard, many people are progressing. So that's good. And for many others, you feel like it's been hopeless. Many feel like a lot has not happened. But I'm here to tell you that many things have happened. There's progress. There's many things going on behind the scenes. God has the sovereign, uh, his so sovereign hand is over everything. And so many things are happening already. And so what you have to realize, myself included, and I've had this mini assignment for the last couple of years uh, to hold on to the promise of exposure, of justice, of restoration, of the political realm, of the social justice realm, many things, right? And so if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But in that regard, in the same vein, many people, many of you have had an assignment in your own calling, in your own walk, whether it's very personal, and this is applicable to many of you, right? Whether uh, you want to talk about big ticket news or whether you want to talk about just the faith you had in God promising for your marriage, for uh, your job, for your fortunes, wh whatever business financial stuff that you have, you've been waiting on that. And so I've been waiting on many, many things. And so I just hold to the assignment he's given me. I hold to the promises that he's shown me. And I just want to be able to develop uh, myself in many ways. I want to progress in many other realms of, of my life, in my personal walk with him, in my depth that I have, my relationship with him, but also in many other aspects. You see, or if you follow me, you have seen the progress in my social media influencer space. I also have more progress to come within my business, my personal uh, realm, many other things. And for many of you, you have to continue in that area as well. So as much as you are waiting on what God has promised you in certain things, the visions, the dreams, the prophet, uh, prophetic words, and many other things that he's allowed you to hold on to. And so continue to wait on the assignment, the promise that you've been holding on to. But at the same time, make sure you are progressing in other fronts, other realms of life. Because years and days and months will go by and you're still sitting on certain things, which is good because you're holding on to his promises, his prophetic words, uh, these things for you uh, and also for society. But at the same time, make sure that you are doing the other things that God wants you to do because we're in a new year. It's 2023 and God has many, many things in store for you, for this community, for this body of Christ, for uh, the America, for many other countries. And he is holding on to those things. And so just wait on him, allow him to work. That doesn't mean be a person of inaction, but a person of action. Be active Make sure you are pushing in many fronts, many frontiers of your life. And so, guys, it's a great year. It's going to start well. And it is already, it already has been a great 2022. I can count many, many blessings, many, many uh, improvements in society, in the Great Awakening, in the revival, in the harvest. But there is more to come. So, love you guys. Continue waiting on him. I promise as the Lord has shown me, as he has given me assurance and peace over certain things, this is also going to happen for you and for just society in general. So love you guys. Talk to you guys soon.